Good afternoon or early good morning or good evening, depending where you are in the world today. Uh, we're starting a little bit earlier today. And today's guest is Sue Louise from South Africa. Oh, there she is. Hello, Sue. And already joining. Well done. How are you today? Hi, I'm very good. Thanks. How are you? Very well indeed. Thank you for asking. Thanks. Um, sorry, I'm just adjusting my camera angle very quickly. That seems to be better, better, better. There we go. Brilliant. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to do this interview with us. We really do appreciate it. And how are things up? You're in, you're in Durban, is that right? Yes, I am at the moment. It's raining like England, but it's all good. It's all cool and nice down here. <laughs> oh, fantastic, fantastic. Well, we just had our rains leave the day before yesterday. Sunday afternoon was the last of our rains, which is very unseasonal okay. for, um, for Cape Town. So it's been quite an interesting couple of days. And I see we have rain again coming through end of this week. So we're very grateful for the blessings because, as you know, we had a terrible drought for about five years. So we're not complaining, but we are going into summer now and hope little things will warm up a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, as I was saying, you know, thank you so much for, for joining us today. I'm looking forward thank to hearing you. a little bit about you. You are an intuitive life coach. Now, before we dive into exactly what that means, would you be so kind as to tell us a little bit about you and um, what your journey has been like up until now and how you got onto this path? Okay, so I think like most of us, we've had sort of intuition from when we were very young. I had sort of past life dreams, premonitionary dreams, um, and felt and experienced a variety of things, but of course I was born quite a long time ago, so there was no World Wide Web, there was no literature, there was nothing to explain what I was thinking or feeling, you know, sort of in my 20s, I managed to get hold of a couple of books like Edgar Cayce, um, and started a healing journey in my late 20s. Um, I was very fortunate to have a great teacher in Jan de Vries in Durban who opened up all the things about healing and why we do what we do and all that sort of thing. So I studied to be a medical technologist because I was passionate about the body and how the body can heal itself and the whole biology of the body. So when I went into my sort of healing journey, exploring this um, whole thing, I, I became a healer and a reflexologist. And then I tied in what I knew of the body uh, biologically with the emotions and how it impacts our bodies. And uh, I'm very passionate about that. As well as I've always just been so interested in people and what makes them tick and what the human experience is and then going on to why the soul chose what it chose in, in this incarnation and in others. So it kind of all came together for me. And then I decided to, it was more sort of an intuitive thing to become a life coach. And of course I do it intuitively, so that's why I make that um, claim that I should because I can you know, things that people need to know and assist them with a little bit more than just what's on paper. Right, so that's extremely interesting. So this was something that kind of was with you from, I'm guessing, from childhood, that eventually you just realized yes. this was what you needed to be doing with your life. Incredible. That's it, yes. Now, I think I've been doing it sort of naturally all along. It's just that now I've formalized it, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yes, yes, right, okay. If I may ask then, because you, you bring up a very valid point, you know, that the, we, we tend to forget, first of all, that we didn't always have the internet. Um, yes. And by the same token, we didn't always have a very open-minded society. How have you been received in, in your work with, with what you're doing? Um, in the medical world, not so well in terms of, you know, a lot of them are very much about the human physical and not, you know, really going further than that. Um, I have been quite fortunate to be surrounded by people who do believe in what I do. So my mother was always, she called herself a psychic, you know, so it was quite natural to her. So I grew up quite open-minded and she talked about mind over matter. 
So if I wasn't feeling well, she would say to me, okay, go to bed early and tell yourself you'll feel better the next day. And I do that. I make up feeling better. So it's what we understand now that's been so much research and so many experiments to prove it. That's so beautiful that you can get in touch with these days. Um, but I was basically mm -hmm. brought up that way. Um, so some of my colleagues in the medical field, because I'm a medical technologist, are a bit open to it. And a lot of people are very closed. So I find I don't let it bother me if I feel to mention something and if it's received, it's received there, you know. Oh, fantastic. And that is, I think you're right. You know, we are starting to see more people opening up their mindset to realize that it, we're not just physical, you know, mind over matter does work and it does exist and you can change your circumstances by changing your mind. But I do think that it is quite incredible that you had the opportunity to grow up in an environment where that was not, not only accepted, but expected too. Yeah. So that's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. It was definitely the foundation for me. Yeah. So in terms of the work that you do with your clients currently, what does that sort of look like? Are you helping them? Um, I, I know just looking at, at your profiles and, and various and stuff that's out there, you assist with clearing blockages, but I, I guess my question is, as a medical technologist, is that something that you do more for their physical well-being or is it a holistic approach that you take with your clients? So it's completely holistic because there obviously is a, a physical aspect where you need to keep your microbiome of your stomach, you know, free and so you eat healthy and you think healthily and you can do energy work and that sort of thing. So for me, it's it's all one. It all goes hand in hand, and it's all science. Everything can be scientifically explained. So um, I look at the whole aspect because if you're not well, it's often based on you know your lifestyle, but a lot of your emotions as well as your genetic history and sort of all of that. So you need to look at everything in order to heal on all those layers. So I tend to approach it that way. You know, I have done a formal coaching course, which is amazing. And I can take people through those steps, you know, that journey of a thousand steps. And some people know what they want to do and they don't even know how to get onto the first step. And some people have no idea because they've been so programmed and conditioned and doing the right thing that they don't even know who they are and what they want to do. So it's about sort of talking to them and looking at where they're at with all those areas and then using the tools that I've learned over the years um, to release those blockages and motivate and step up and tap into their own intuitive abilities, into their own souls, knowing of their purpose, you know, and the, what they need to do for their own well-being, emotionally, physically, and mentally. Yeah. Brilliant. You actually, you've touched on something there that I've started to notice as well with a lot of people mm -hmm in my circle and in my clients and that is um, too, is more often than not, they don't know even who they, who they are. Or if they do, there's sort of this fear of saying it out loud, you know, that, that I, I can't have certain things, right? Oh, I can't aspire to certain things. So if I, if I can't even say that that's my destination, how do I say that this is the, the journey that I'm going to start on? Um, yes, absolutely. So do you find that as an intuitive that you're able to, and I, I don't want to put words in your mouth, <laughs> but <laughs> do you find that you are able to bypass a lot of their blocks because you know what yeah. will be best received for them? Yeah, so that's where I believe I'm working with their guides guardian angels, whatever you want to call it, uh, past family members or whoever is there for us as well as mine. And I tend to hear questions to ask them to dig to where they need to go. Hang on, don't divert. Let's go down this pathway, you know, and ask them the questions that brings it out of themselves. And often people will know, you know, they just never had a moment to sort of think about it and explore it and to be open to it. Um, and sometimes I hear words in Lali, it's all English. I can't speak too many foreign languages, but, you know, words that I don't normally use in my vocabulary, but they can relate to it, you know. So 
-hmm. we start to unpack that and dive down and you know often the person themselves will know together we can uncover it you know it's just needs somebody else who's a sounding board and just knows the kind of things to say to bring it out of them so i listen for that you know um, and then i repeat those things yeah that is so interesting i'm, I'm sure your clients must find that working with you is just incredible because I know speaking to some of my clients and clients of other life coaches, et cetera, that sometimes just having that sounding board that you can resonate with is all that you need in order to make that progress and having somebody who can listen for those cues, um, who has that ability is just invaluable. So that is incredible. So yeah. if I may, I'd like to ask you just a little bit, if you could touch on the, the talk that you're going to be doing with the Wellness Lifestyle Conference, what can people expect um, from your, your work with us? And thank you again, by the way, for working with the Wellness Lifestyle Conference. We really do appreciate it. Well, it's a wonderful opportunity. So, you know, it's a two-way street here, which is a lot of how things go. It always uh, benefits everybody in the situation. So I'm very grateful for the opportunity. But I've actually done my talk. Um, a lot of it was about what's happening to us in this year. You know, I always felt it was going to be a shift year in December last year. I could feel it. Um, mm. Of course, I didn't know exactly how that was going to play out and a large part of it was the uh, pandemic which has stopped people in their tracks and um, made them think about how we're living our lives and who do we want to be really you know it's about shedding the old programmed outdated the expectations of us you know and truly stepping into who we're meant to be and raising our vibration and going with the energies that are coming in because some of them are helping us to release. Um, I'm finding with people that uh, they almost can't help if things are actually happening to them and they have to stop and, and take note and sort through everything. So some of the energies come to challenge us, to help us release, and it's a beautiful thing, even though it can be very painful. Um, and then also just how we can thrive in these times and, and when the energy surges for us to move forward, that we can utilize that energy to do that. Um, and I'm finding that with the new energies, it's a lot quicker to be able to identify those blocks and release them and also to clear the way to focus on what we really want to be doing. And, and even if it's we're doing what we want to be doing, are we doing it in exactly the way we want to? Or can we relook at it and come in with a different sort of... Um, perspective if you can put it like that um and then also i talk quite a bit about being an empath because i am one i only found out a few years ago in my 50s that I, there is such a word and there is such a thing and there's lots of support and medical evidence and all that kind of thing which is amazing um so it's about talking to people of how to protect themselves but also how to utilize their gifts to help the world now, you know, to really, to shine and to radiate and not run and hide like an empath wants to do sometimes with all the craziness in the world. So there are lots of tools that we can use to protect ourselves, to move with the energy and to just really radiate. I think that's like the biggest thing right now. So I also put myself as an empath support because I find myself naturally talking to a lot of empaths. I think a lot of us do do have empathy on a spectrum scale that do, do this kind of work. But there's a lot of people out there that either know or they don't know or they're not too sure how to to work with themselves. Um, and some just need a reminder. It's like, oh yes, of course I know going into nature replenishes me and things like that, you know. So I talk a bit about that as well. Yeah. The very basics that we, we tend to forget constantly. I know I do. Um, yeah. And as you say, just, you know, remember, you have to go out into a forest. Remember, you should go for a walk on the beach. Remember, you're not good if you're in crowds constantly. So, <laughs> you need to um, the, like I said, the, the, the very <laughs> basic. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So... Um, as mentioned, obviously, you are on the Wellness Lifestyle Conference website, and the link is in my bio to those who are watching this or catching the replay. Thank um, you. The, I will, of course, tag you in this video as well, like I do with, with everybody. And 
um, I will put a link to your website as well. But how do people get in touch with you? How can they book a session? What are the best ways to reach out to you? Okay, so um, my phone number I can give that if, you, if you'd like me to. It's 0836902505. So just a phone call or a WhatsApp or a message that I can respond to. Um, also, my email address, which is info at suluise.co.za. To just send me an email. I'm not always good at reading my emails every day, so a WhatsApp would be great or a phone call. Or just leave a message and I can get back to you. At the moment, I'm still working um, part-time, so I would just need to arrange times with people that we can both be free. But um, yeah, I'm available otherwise anytime. Fantastic. And I take it that, well, I think everybody with COVID has found ways to move online, but I take it that you are able to take clients virtually as well? Yes, I can do that. I can do a Zoom or a Google Meet if they, they'd like to do it that way. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Yes. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, Sue, thank you so much for your time today. We really appreciate it. And um, to everybody watching this, please do click through to the Wellness Lifestyle Conference website on the link in bio or in the comments if you're catching this on Facebook or on YouTube. And you can get a hold of Sue Louise's premium content that she has shot just for us there. Sue, thank you so much again for your time today. It has been an absolute pleasure and an honor. And all I can say is please do continue to shine your wonderful light out into the world. It is greatly appreciated. Well, thank you so much. And the same to you. Really appreciated this time to check. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers then. Enjoy the rest of your day and hope the weather clears up a little bit in the next couple of hours or so. It's all good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Cheers then. Bye. Bye. Bye.